What up, guys? It's me, Gaming Guy TV here, and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. So, this video is going to go pretty much like the other ones, because I've actually got quite a few things to talk about today. So, first thing first, um, for Twitch streams, I now have a new updated challenge screen. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see it on stream. Um, and if I feel like editing this video, there might be a clip of it popping up on the screen. But if I don't feel like editing this video, there won't be. Um, now, that was the big thing. It didn't take me long to do, and I thought it would make the whole thing just a whole lot better. Um, now, the next thing that I want to talk about is just... A little bit of an informative thing for you guys for the rest of the month of January. So you can expect videos, obviously today, since this one's going out. Um, next Sunday, and the Sunday after. Fridays are going to be a bit play-by-ear because of robotics competitions. You know, because of the way everything's been this year, they're doing it in cohorts. So if we are in the afternoon cohort, there will probably be a video. If we're in the morning cohort and I have to wake up at 4.30 in the morning... There's probably not going to be a video. Um, <laughs> so, I just wanted to get that out of the way real quick. Um, no, I do not know what February is going to look like yet. I wish I did, but I don't. Um, you know, February is still two to three weeks out. So, as much as I would love to say I've got an answer for you guys, I don't. Um, again, I'd love to. But, unfortunately, I don't. Um, so, that was the big thing. The next thing is, I'm actually trying out YouTube Shorts. So, I've heard that it's a great way to, go, to grow your channel. Um, and, I'm actually trying to do, like, an interactive, like, Marvel bracket thing. Um, got the idea from one of my friends, but... That's what I'm trying to do currently. It may or may not work. Um, currently, the poll is tied at 50-50, but my thought sort of is, you know, if I can do that, maybe grow my channel a little bit, you know, all this stuff will come together in the end. Um, but yeah, so those will be going up, like, periodically throughout the week. I think I've got them scheduled for, like, Mondays and Wednesdays currently. Um... The next thing is that, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about app development and just how I'm doing, like, money-wise. And I know that sounds really bad, like, you guys don't need to know how I'm doing money-wise, that's all personal information. I mean, like, actual money amount that I have, because that is personal information. Um, I wanted to talk about, you know, apps and how it went in sync with what I'm trying to do. So, you know, basically any job, if you're hourly, you know, even, even weekly, you go to work, you work for a number of hours, and you get paid for those hours, either per hours, or if you're working like a 40-hour week, you get paid per week. Um, basically, you know, from an app developer standpoint, unless you work for like a company, a company or a corporation that pays you to develop apps, you know, if you're a small developer like me, you get paid via ad revenue. And I know that is annoying. I know the ads are annoying for you guys, the consumer, um, but they really do help. It's not a lot, but it's something. But the amount that it is doesn't even matter. What I wanted to talk about was, you know, like I said, regular 9 to 5, you work 8 hours a day, you get paid per hour. Say it's 13 an hour, that is like 104 a day, which is around 500 something a week, maybe a little under by the time you get income tax and factor that in. Um, But basically, 
you know, when you're a game developer, you put ads in your game, and ads and in-app purchases are how you make money if you are a free game developer, meaning that your app is free to download. Um, basically, my Pomodoro Timer app, you know, the story behind it is it's a strategy of timer that I was told about and that I found, you know, online and, you know, I really liked it. So I designed one of my own to be able to help people. Um, basically, yes, I put ads in it, not because, you know, I put ads in it because in the end, there are costs to developing. I'm on a free Unity plan, and if this thing takes off, I could go on a paid Unity plan that would let me do like team development, and I'd be able to develop off of multiple devices and test stuff and yada, yada, yada. I could go on for days about that. But, you know, it was a $25 fee to get my app on the Google Play Store, plus, you know, whatever advertisements I'm doing for it that I pay to promote. You know, it's free to upload a YouTube video talking about it. You know, maybe I'll do that over spring break. But, you know, if I'm going to pay to promote something, I've got to be able to cover that charge. And yes, I do have a part-time job that pays me 13 an hour. So if I wanted to pay 35 a week, I basically just need to work, you know, two hours a week, two to three hours, maybe four. Um... But that is not the point of this. Basically, you know, ad revenue, why it's so appealing to me, even Twitch ad revenue, even Twitch ad revenue is still objective. You know, I stream for two hours and I get the ad revenue from those two hours. And I'm a mobile game developer and I put ads in my game and people use my game when say, I'm not at a computer, or if I'm out having dinner and somebody uses my app, I get paid for those ad impressions. So that is quite literally the appeal of putting ads into games. You know, I can do a separate video on it if you want. Uh, let me know in the comments. But. Basically, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, yes, I don't want to blow all of my money, you know, I had to spend a significant amount of it over summer because I made a mistake that I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I was out $750. That's significant. Um, so I am saving up my money right now because there's not really a lot that I need. You know, I don't need a new laptop, I don't need a new gaming PC, I may want some of that stuff, but I don't need it. You know, the only stuff that I'm spending is $10 a month on my phone, because I went with the Pro, so I have to pay $10 a month to my dad for reasons that I'm not going to go into. Um... But that is right now the only money I'm spending. I'm looking at spending maybe 50, 50 bucks on maybe even 40 on a new work desk setup that will get me a little bit more desk space back and get me a second monitor at my gaming setup. Um, but those are the only things that I'm looking at spending money on. I'm saving right now, you know, so I don't want to blow my entire savings on you know, advertising for an app, but there is a little bit of an appeal if I can find a service that'll let me do like a dollar a day where, okay, you know, I spend seven bucks a week, which is roughly 28 a month. Um, but if I wanted to do it for one week and see the results and I do seven bucks, one 
yeah, a dollar a day. That's roughly 30 to 31 a month. You know, it's not a lot a year. But say I get, you know, four or five users on the app. I'm getting the money from all of the ad impressionists. Say they leave a good review. Maybe that boosts my app, and maybe I get more users. So it's a little bit of a chain reaction where if I spend money on advertising, it has the ability to pay itself off. It really does. Like, it really, really does have the ability to pay itself off. You know, it really, really does. Oh, I need one more stalker tooth. Okay. Um, you know, it really does have the ability to pay itself off. Um, so it's something I'm looking into. I've always been one of like, let the people come your way. But my point is, you know, like this weekend, for example, I don't have a lot of schoolwork. Um, because it's a long weekend, my teacher sort of gave us a little bit of slack. So, you know, it's Sunday, Saturday night, I posted a thing on Reddit to try and get beta testers, and I got some feedback on how I could improve the app before I paid and promoted it, because if there's an issue, I didn't want to, you know, promote an issue. So, I'll probably have to redesign the ad, or I'll just reuse one of my ads, but I can absolutely, you know, I can absolutely promote it a little bit because it has the potential to pay off. You know, it may take a little shove in the right direction to get it the momentum that it needs. I don't know if that's a saying, but I'm making it a saying. You know, because, theoretically, I could do this now, and then while I'm at school in April and May, I could be making money. Just living life. You know. So that's the appeal. I want you guys to understand that. You know, I want you guys to understand that I'm not... This isn't about greed. And about wanting money. It's about, you know... Because... I can tell you, if I put money into advertising my YouTube channel, I'd have a lot more than 142 subscribers right now. And don't get me wrong, I am thrilled that we are at 142 subscribers and that I am where I am. But, you know, if I had put some money into advertising, and I had put the time in, I could be at a lot more. But again, that's not really the point. Um, but I just wanted to talk about that. I also wanted to talk about plans for the summer. Um, because yes, we are still almost five months, we're less than five, probably around four and a half months out. Um, but, you know, I'm going to look at taking a Unity game development course that's like online. Because I've got my fitness tracker app, and I'm going to try and work on a little bit over spring break in a few months. Get that published. But then over the summer, I want to, you know, try and make a mobile game. Because that's fun. It's a lot of fun to develop games and apps and whatnot. So... You know, I want to try and go into that. I might take a VFX course as well. But I want to try and develop, like, a mining tycoon and a restaurant tycoon. Because the mobile game industry, there's so much more market in it than, like, the study apps or fitness tracker apps. You know. And I feel like I could do a lot with it. So. Um, but I also wanted to branch out a little bit off of Clash of Clans for Twitch streaming. I am looking, depending on where I am money-wise and stuff, at investing in a capture card. Because that would let me hook up my Switch, or my Mac, or pretty much anything else, and I can do, 
you know, Animal Crossing streams, or Super Mario Odyssey, or Luigi's Mansion. You know, or Mario Kart, trying to beat Mario Kart. You know, I can do all that stuff with a capture card. Um, so those are just a few of the things that I wanted to talk about in today's video. Hopefully, I will be back Friday night. Um, if not, I will be back next Sunday. Um, but we have come to the end of the video, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave it a big fat thumbs up. Um, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.